Hi again. I'm Rentaro. It's nice to meet you, officially. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm Nancy. What do you mean, surprising? Did I say that? Whoops. <laughs> so, you're American. From New York City? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Oh, okay. Uh, that's one of the places I always wanted to go. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to live there. But on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Do you work here? Technically, it's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like the handyman around here. So, should I bother getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? What do all of the rest do? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never come back? Even the ones who come to see the ghosts? <gasps> I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh well, already did. If you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. Ghosts? What ghosts? We got one of those, um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters here. And that's always a treat, because they're totally not obnoxious. So, people think this place is haunted? Well, some people think this place is haunted. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked, and some people like adult contemporary. Don't be one of those people. You like puzzles? I guess you could say that. I figured. You're going to love this. It's called a nanogram. What's that? It's just another example of how awesome numbers are. Letters are cool and all, but they just make words. I mean, get with the game, letters. Numbers, on the other hand, get a few handfuls of those and you can make a bridge or send a person into space or express the makeup of our genetic code or... or they can make a neat picture. Okay. Take a look in here. All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture! Here, take this. Give it a shot. Bring it back when you're done, and I'll give you something better. Sure. And there are instructions inside in case you get stuck. Can you tell me anything about Takai? She can be a little tough, but she's really wonderful. She works herself way too hard, though. I wish I could get her to just relax a little. But you can't tell her to do anything unless you want a lecture back in return. I take it you've been lectured by Takai before. I pretty much grew up here, and believe it or not, I was not always the saint you see standing before you. So... I've been on the sad end of a lecture or two. But I've overheard more. Always hilarious when they're not directed at you. Miwako seems to really like Suki. I know, which is great, because that girl is hard to buy for. And it's been sort of a gift-heavy year. Either she's getting crazy sensitive or I'm becoming a huge jerk. Hmm, hard to say. It's definitely one or both of those things. What are you building there? Oh, this. This is the Rentaro 4000. I sort of got inspired by Suki. What's it going to be? A robotic dog. Or maybe just a robotic dog's leg. I'll be honest, I had no idea how wrong these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg is not a good gift without the rest of the dog. So the borders on creepy come to think of it. Is it going to be a gift for Miwako? Oh, definitely. She's my robotic muse. But she's not robotic. Not that you'd think she is. <sighs> and this is why I work with machines. They're totally oblivious to awkwardness. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. What's going on? I should listen in. The strange sounds, on the pounding, on the screaming at all hours of the night, waking up my family, scaring the children half to death. If you ask me, this real can needs to be closed down immediately. I'm very sorry. Sorry changes nothing. This is unacceptable. I want my money back, and I want a car sent immediately to take us anywhere else. Oh, 
Hello, Nancy-san. That guest seemed pretty upset. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. Trust me, I see a lot at this desk, and one thing never changes. Travel is disorienting. It's so very easy to get upset when you're far from home. That's why we try to make things as comfortable as possible. What has been scaring the guests away? Oh, nothing. They're not scared. It's something else. Can I help you with anything? I met Rentaro. Who is he? Oh, Rentaro? He's my boyfriend. He's also handyman around here. Have you two been dating long? I'm sorry. I should really get back to my paperwork. But if you have any questions about the ryokan, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll let you go. Bye. That Yurei comic looks interesting. I should check it out. I need to find a card first before I can play Pachinko. Ugh, creepy. I don't think I need to keep this one.
Interesting. This looks important. I better hang on to it. I need a dictionary to translate that. you get back to work. Okay, see ya. Hello, Nancy-san. I love the gardens. Do you take care of them? Yes, of course. I sleep here, but my home is out there, in the gardens. Even when the whole earth is covered in snow, I am happiest there waiting for the first flowers to break through the frost. Do yourself a favor, Nancy-san. Find a small piece of earth that begs to be made perfect and do whatever it asks of you. You will thank me. The Ryokan seems very important to you. The world around has become a million different things since I was a girl. And I do not have to tell you that many changes have not been so good. But in here, the world does not change. Why do you want Yumi to take over the Ryokan? It is tradition. Any other reason? I am used to this question. Tradition is very often made fun of or ignored. But tradition is how we know ourselves, Nancy-san. The traditions of your family are how you know yourself. Tradition is a burden in many ways. I understand this. But imagine not knowing who you are or where you come from. It would be very lonely, I think. I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye.